I did, it would probably work. <laughs> Welcome back to Good Day Big Bear. Oh, yeah, we're, we're there, we're there. Thanks for staying tuned with us. I'm John Wells. This is Dan Bathurst. So Good fine. morning, Dan. Good morning, John. <laughs> Are we recording, Shay? Yeah, brutal. <laughs> Are we recording? Yeah, okay. Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure I had this in the blackmail archives there. Yeah, well. <laughs> you shaved your beard. Yeah, I did. I, I um, actually had a comment somebody made me the other day and was wondering if we were related. And I thought, well, that's not going to do your reputation any good, so I better do something about it. <laughs> so I shaved and cut my hair and thought, you know. <laughs> you know, I, I heard a comment about that, too. Are we brothers or something? It's, well, different mothers. <laughs> brothers with different that mothers. That was uh, Dan <laughs> Fogelberg and Tim Weisberg. There you go. Great album. Yeah. Twin sons of different mothers. <laughs> yes. Wonderful stuff. Welcome back to the show. Dan's with uh, Exit Realty. And Dan's been with us every week now for a month or so. Yeah. Uh, giving us updates on the real estate market and the stats and, and all kinds of things. Weird stuff this Weird last stuff. week. It's kind of, it's kind of some, some interesting posturing going on there. Uh, a part of Obama's Medicare bill has something to do with real estate. It has a lot to do with real estate. It's, uh, well, there's a few things that are going to happen. If, if I guess they're are, finally uh, getting around to reading the whole thing. Yes. Uh, out of the 2,000 pages, what was it Pelosi said? You know, let's just go ahead and throw it out there. Pass and, it, and, and we'll read it later. We'll read it later. Mm -hmm. uh, the 3.8 uh, <laughs> Medicare tax that's going to come out, um, which will be tacked on above and beyond uh, the families that uh, have over 250,000 income uh, married, uh, I believe, is uh, 200. But uh, any home that's sold above two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is going to get taxed at. Yeah, your voice dropped off there a little bit. I, I know. Sure. I, 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 I get you're, all you're involved in the conversation. From that, uh, <laughs> three point eight percent of yes. the gross sales price. Absolutely. Of a home over two fifty, or if the seller earns over two fifty, if the seller earns over two fifty. Three point eight percent of the gross. Yes, and if you have any real concern about that if you really want to know more about mm. it i have that information okay. that i can send anybody right. um also remember at the end of the year if you're considering a short sale or if you're considering uh uh, if you're in a situation where you, you're going to be looking at foreclosure, you need to realize if you don't do that short sale now um, that you're going to lose the uh, um, tax uh, protection. Will be the, for, yeah, because they, they've been waiving. For the deficiency difference, and right. that's waived until the end of the year. And then at the end of the year, you're going to get hit on the tax and the uh, difference figure. Now, that goes away when? That goes at, at the end of uh, 2012. 2012. So for those of you that aren't, if you're doing a short sale, 2013, which it looks like there's still probably going to be some of that going on. Oh my on. gosh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you, you owe 300000 and you sell it for 100000 you owe the taxes on the 200000 exactly. because it's declared as income. And, and that is a deficiency as well. So you'll be responsible for the difference. They can come after you because that protection is gone at the end of this year. So you will be responsible for the taxes and the deficiency. Aren't you... It's, I know, it's, it's like being a doctor and having to give that, you know, you're, you're you, terminally you gotta, ill, I'm sorry. you got to stay there <laughs> Not much constantly. I can do for you. <laughs> you got to stay on top of yeah. it constantly. Good, a good reason to hire a professional. Absolutely. So what's going on in our market? Well, Things in our market, better? and I'm and i not supposed to do this anymore, by the way. And that. Uh, <laughs> tapping in the hammer. No, don't do so that. It's on the speaker and the whole nine years. I'm gonna, uh, residentials are, we're doing actually very good right now. Uh, we have 120 uh, residential sales to date. Uh, last year we were at 123, so we're we're still mm -hmm. running a, a good pattern here. The average selling home is 131 uh, dollars per square. Last year it was 151. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, the average selling home this year 235. Last year was 224. So we are easing up on mm -hmm. that pattern. It's getting a little broader for us. Still 136 days on the market for the uh, residential. Mm -hmm. Um, we go into the foreclosure short sale, uh, 69 of them have sold, and pushing 51% uh, cash buyers. Whoa, that's up from 44 last week. Exactly. And so uh, last that, year we were at know, 71, so the we, foreclosure... We are a different market. Yes, it is. We are, we are a different planet. We are recreational property predominantly. Absolutely. And... And those, unfortunately, so that are means going, cash is investors. Yes, cash is investors, yeah. but uh, they're they're also pushing that market down to ninety seven dollars uh, a square from one twenty two last mm -hmm. year. So, the market is pushing. Those are only on in the market for one hundred and twenty four days, mm -hmm. and the average selling home there is one hundred and forty three thousand. So, okay. um, it's it's a good push. Uh, the lots 
lots are you know they're still out there there's 331 of those listings out there uh, we've sold i believe uh, 13 to date so dirt is still hard to move but uh, it is picking up everything is plus right now so mm -hmm. over last month and over the over last year so mm -hmm. we are stabilizing a little bit we are getting better I, I don't know if it's just the fact that people are looking at the bottom now and they're coming out of the woodwork and spending more cash and investing their money in property which is always the best investment you can make well especially in an area like ours where we're surrounded by national forests we're finite we can only get so big and I not to put too fine a point on it I, I, I realized I said that three times last week yeah Isn't it too fine but that a point? is, I, that I is a good point though I mean you're People the people that, that have money think different than people that come from a poor place of lack. And exactly. they always are looking for where's the best place to put my money that people are always going to want to go to. And it's recreational property, especially something like Big Bear. Exactly. We're within three miles, th three miles, three hours of what, Jeff? Is that all? I was. There's more than that in Vegas. There's more than that in Vegas. San Diego's San Diego's more than 18 million people. LA's more. It's got to be. I don't know. Several billion. <laughs> Three hours on a plane. You were China for gosh sake. At well, any rate, look at it like this. Is, people don't want to go in. This is a great place to come. A great sure. place to own property. Sure. And you know, with gas prices the way they are, let's stay local. Yeah. You know. You know and, and I had somebody in the store last week that it was their first time to Big Brother. They lived in LA for 35. Five years. It's the first time they've ever been to Big Bear, and she says, "I don't remember going anywhere where almost everybody was so pleasant and so relaxed." She says, "I can't believe we haven't been coming here all the time." We have a wonderful community, and yes, we, we accept do. the tourists very, very well, and we are very pleased to have them. Um, you know, it's it's a great environment. I. I am so supportive of everything that we're doing in this community, and I'm just absolutely happy that uh, people are starting to realize that mm -hmm. more and more every day. You talk to people on the street that are visiting for they're just ecstatic. You yeah. know, that they don't, didn't ever believe this place wait existed. Wait till you see what Jeff's got to show you. Thank you so I much for wait. coming on. My Dan pleasure. Bathurst, Exit Realty, if you want to call him and get some of these stats up front. 909-878-0522. And please call. I will give you this information that's vital to you. Yeah, you're not. No. No. Let me show you around a house while I do this. You're going to do that. <laughs> no, yeah, I, don't, I don't. We'll be back game. in just a couple of minutes. <laughs> Quick, give them the website. Uh, ExitRealityBigBear.net. Good. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes with Jeff Matthews. You pressure. won't want to miss pressure. this. Turn on your recorder. <laughs> we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Well, they should have turned the recorder yeah. on before. Exactly.